guys. Welcome back to the channel. You can see we're back home in Guernsey. We've just had mm, 10, 11 days in the south of England. We went to Hunter's Moon and we went to Rooksbury Park. And those of you uh, who've watched our recent videos may well know that. We're doing something a little bit different yet again. Um, we're doing an out and about series, I suppose. We're gonna stick it on a separate playlist. The idea being that you can see where you can go from a particular site. So hopefully that will help some of you. So now's a good time to subscribe. So we're starting with Wareham. We were at Hunter's Moon in Wareham Forest, which is about two and a half miles, I think, from Wareham itself. I think I've probably said a bit more on the video, but it is two and a half miles. So we're gonna take you there, show you this set, fascinating Saxon town which really has to be walked around to be appreciated so hopefully you enjoy this and there'll be more to come we're going to Poole, we're going to Swanage and various other places the beautiful Isle of Purbeck, Corfe Castle and we'll show you where we can go so this is leaving Hunter's Moon see the reception area there it's a nice big entrance here there's uh, a couple of lanes for arrivals and also keeps the main entrance clear it's a it's a good site actually all oh, the broom in the forest is beautiful so this is where in forest and there's a number of places you can pull over car parks they all have lovely walks one we've just passed is called the Seeker Trail, Seeker as in the name of the deer. And there is a walk that takes you without having to go on this road other than to cross it and it, from the site and it comes out the other side of the road to the entrance to the Seeker Trail. Can't say we've ever tried it actually, we may, may well do over the next couple of days. Lovely bright sunny day today but a little bit breezy so we thought we'd go into Wareham. It's not very far, about three and a half, four miles I should say. Something like that. And you'll see it's not far because we're almost there already. Wareham's a lovely little town, it's a Saxon town and it's on the banks of the river, the River Ware. Nice bridge nice pubs and restaurants around by the water. They have a market day once a week. I think it's a Thursday but there are signs up so that'll become apparent. So you come into this little island here. This is what is Bea Road. B-E-R-E. -E. And a lot of the roundabouts are on the Wareham Ring Road, such as it is, are all very similar. So if you're looking for the direction for Hunter's Moon, then follow the signs for beer. Just a little bit.
take an opportunity for a parking space because it's not that easy. They won't have been all built together as one terrace, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way up And I won't stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down like it needs a bit of TLC there. Yeah. Good old me. Which this building's getting. Ooh. Yeah. The Air and Conservative Club. Very grand. And the bear on top of the portico here. Bear in. So we'll cross over the road because to get down by the river, so that you can walk up to the bridge, but and you can see the bridge down there. There's a swan popped up from nowhere. There he goes. Don't worry, Doug, I'm not going to come too close. It looked like he was about to jump in the river. 
you know, somebody has been feeding them and they've now run out, so they're all coming back. You just see under the bridge, so those kayaks are still for hire this time of year. Two people just going off up the river. It's very peaceful and quiet going further upstream. So going up towards the church, leaving the riverside now. Not been down this little street before, but the buildings are obviously very old. Not seeing much information to help me though. And this comes out where we showed you from the main street a few minutes ago. Looks like it's actually residential up here. Church Green, that's what it's called. And there's the church. I can see now there's a restaurant there called the Priory. And that's very popular. It's quite a, a nice restaurant hotel, I think. And it goes right, it's right on the riverbanks. When you come past in a boat, you can see it and it looks beautiful. It's meant to be very good, but never tried it. I seem to be saying never tried it quite a lot. And for somewhere we've been quite a lot, that's not very good. We tend to, or have tended to just wander around. The signs up there say two rivers walk, rivers walks, and walls walks. Now those may well be the old Saxon walls to the town. May well be worth a try. A nice day for a walk, that's for sure. A few back down to the quay. Interesting, look at some of these old roofs. They seem to have little tiles on the top and then go on to large, thick slate on the edge. And that little archway there takes you to the parish hall. Looking now across the cemetery and down another little back street, that cottage on the end there. Very quiet. Herbeck Artisan Yard. My goodness me, does anybody's guess what they sell or what they don't sell here? Tucked up in the back street. So we've turned left now. seems to be a car park behind these walls. The walls certainly appear to be older than the invention of the motor car. And it's Sainsbury's car park. Obviously using whatever they can.
and then back in time once again. Nice old ironmongers there. Far prettier than B and Q. And the parking in the square. These buildings on the right look quite modern, but they've tied them in quite nicely. And round to the horse and groom pub and yet another church behind. You really do need to wander around Wareham to see what it's like. Driving through certainly wouldn't do it. And we're back out onto the main street again. Looking back up to the crossroads and the bears still sitting guard over the Bear Hotel. This has got to be one of the most unique entrances to a Sainsbury's I've seen, complete with the local murals. Well, from the modernity of Sainsbury's to the ancient bridge and the tranquility of sitting by the river and lots more besides. Wareham's got so much to see I and mean, we didn't go in any of the museums or uh, and we didn't even stop for a drink or a bite to eat which we have done in the past which are excellent but that's just one example of one of the places you can go to from Hunter's Moon. The closest yes but there are loads more and this is the first of our out and about series so watch out for the others we're going to put them in a playlist as we said keep uh, watching until the end and we'll put some links and some cards where you can just go to our other videos but for now thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it we certainly did and there's loads more coming through the summer thanks <laughs>